Today I was sent more custom mystery packs. Let's see what they're like. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and ever since I've been doing those custom mystery packs from Sauce TCG, I got swamped with like three different sets of mystery packs from different people. So we have another one, this, not gonna lie, this looks really, really cool. It's the uh, the Sacred Beast in like black and white, which looks really nice. And a uh, pretty nice presentation with the box, but I don't even know who this guy is. He sent me a note, so let's just read what he has to say. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these 11 ghosts from the past two packs. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think about these repacks and let's get into it all right so we have a very long note here which i will summarize real quick a few months ago while roaming youtube i discovered your channel and have been a fan ever since immediately after watching some of your content went to your attic found some nostalgic Yu-Gi-Oh cards from my childhood there are many cards i wanted as a kid and never had a chance to obtain i'm now a grown man with a family and stable career i decided to go completely crazy and purchase almost all the cards i wanted growing up never learned how to play correctly just being a collector is a little easier for me i'm sure we can all relate with that I mean, well not all but most of you guys and basically it's just some other stuff on there you guys can read it if you want but He's making an Instagram, but right now his stuff is available on eBay at Felix Vortez. So let's see what we think about his stuff. So pretty cool. And here is, I guess, what you can pull. So 175 packs, 25 boxes made so far. More to come. Greater chances for more epic pulls. Seven packs per box. $25 plus shipping. So not that cheap. So hopefully there's some good stuff in here. You can pull all Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Gold Rare, Korean Prismatic Art, God Cards, and Nibatori First Edition. So Nibatori, like a common? Interesting. And then the chase card list. Okay, so that was just the fun stuff. I was like, are those the chase cards? There's a common as a chase card. But it's Ultimate Dragon. Therion is cool. We got the Legendary Fisherman First Edition and Freeing Kraken with Prismatic Slide for the Sky Dragon. All right, let's see what we can get. So we're going to open this up. We will also have some ghosts from the past two as well. You know, keep it interesting. Get those ghost rares. Let's start off with the ghost rare or a ghost pack. Uh, last time I did these, I totally forgot to open the rest of them. So here is the rest that we didn't open in that other video. Hopefully, you guys uh, did see the vlog at this point because like, it, it got a little delayed because it was a lot of footage so i think once it came out hopefully it looked really awesome to you guys let's open another one of these i think there's only like seven packs in the box so we have to open a few ghosts for the past so it's not too short chronicle magician cool we haven't pulled a ghost here in a while like for how many we did pull initially we have not pulled one in a while okay let's see what these look like in the box box is pretty cool it says mystery pack each pack contains two hollows seven packs per box so here's a box seven packs inside so pretty cool wait how do you open this oh i guess uh, you have to untie it or something to get them out or you can just go like that. That's a little easier. All right, first pack. Very similar presentation to Sauce TCG with the same, like, pull tabs and stuff like that. I think pretty much everyone who has sent me some has used the same thing almost. Just different colors and stuff like that. Let's see what is inside of the first pack. So we're guaranteed to get two hollows. Let's see if they're good hollows or just, like, random hollows. Holding legs for the Winged Dragon Raw. First edition Spanish Lajin. Very interesting. Submarine Tour Ride. Okay. Infinite cards. That's a rare. Reinforcement of the army. Chow Sai, the Ghost Stopper from Dimension Force. This, I guess, technically is a foil, but there's no rares in that set, so it's really just a regular rare. And a Shadow Tune from Dark DL3. What is that? DLCS. Oh, the Dragons of Legend, the complete, complete series. So, yeah. Guaranteed hollows, but they're basically just, you know, junk hollows for the most part so far. Next pack. We will be analyzing these, like, when it comes to these, like, repacks, I have to be pretty harsh on these, like, because, you know, someone is hand making them. So if they're not very good, then I'm going to I'm gonna have to say it. Number 38, we can't just be, uh, you know, act like they're really good. But if they are good, we'll say it. We'll, you know, we'll keep it up. Baxia, we got the uh, DD Divine at zero. Number 60, that's a pretty decent card. And Vampire Takeover. Okay. All right. All right. Not bad. Let's do one more of these. Then we'll get into the next pack, which has an obelisk on the front, which is pretty cool. Like, it has different uh, monsters, it seems. Why am I doing a pack trick? All right. I got the Cyber Twin Raptor. All right. Chimera Tech. Heavenly Dragon Circle. That's not a bad card for uh, Sword Soul. Vampire Kingdom. And Vision Hero Ferris. That's not a bad card, like, in general. That's just a good card. Okay, next pack. This one has Obelisk on it. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll get an Obelisk. Very cool. Hopefully, uh, one of the Hollows is pretty decent this time. That's what we're hoping for. All right. Up, 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 up. These are always very difficult uh, to, you know... How do you even get these out? These are very tight. So, it looks like that back card is a little beat up on there. But these are always very difficult to judge because, like... If they're handmade and you put something good in there and then like I open them, it's like, well, they pack them so they would look better. Or if you pull bad, it's like, well, maybe you just didn't get lucky and get the right card. So yeah, it's just a difficult one to do, but it's always fun for me to open at least. Gigante Hitatsu Mei. But if you're interested in them, go check it out. Magical app. We got the Hungry Burger. This is not paid or anything. He just sent these to me for free or whatever. Sangam. World Legacies Heart. And 
Air Knight Parshath. So that's an ultra rare. Definitely in really poor condition, though, for the most part. It has dings on it and stuff, which this is always the downside of repacked product for me. It's like you can get plate stuff. So, like, there's something on there. I mean, this, this I would call, like, I mean, with that on there, it heavily played. So it's like, it's a great card, but it's heavily played. So it's like the back and forth of, well, you get an old school card, but it's in bad condition. So it's it's always interesting to decide if you like that or not. It's pretty much up to you. If you don't care if it's not near mint to mint, then this is good for you. But an Iron Eye, we'll, we'll take that. That's not too bad. It's definitely better than the first one. Let's see what's up next. We have a Large, the God of Archery. Tinny Spirit Ashuna. And Echo World Banshee. Very nice. The Ashina. The Agent and the Cyber Twin. Very cool. Next pack. What can we pull? Well, we get a ghost rare. We got the nine pillars of a sandwich. And Otterized Rebellion Dragon Overlord with the Insector Hornet and the Code Exporter. So nothing in that one. Let's go back to the Felix Vortez packs. Vortex, I should say. Wing Dragon Raw, is that what that is? I think that's what it is. I don't know. Let's go. Open this up. All right, these are not easy to get out, especially when the corners are not great in the first place. It's kind of difficult. Okay, Converging Wishes. Oh, Rux and Special, Mayutin. We got the Starry Night Seal. Keeper of Dragon Magic. Light Pulsar Dragon. So these are Toon Chaos uh, rares, which are basically commons. Uh, powered Crawler from Battles Legend Armageddon. So that's a bulk Seeker rare, but still cool. And a Crystron Halka Fibrax. Very nice card out of Ghosts from the Past, too. We'll take it. Value has definitely gone down because there's so much Ghosts from the Past being opened, but still a good card. It seems like every time I open one of these things, I always get a Crystron Halka Fibrax. I don't know why. I guess because it just came out and people are using them in their packs. So we got a Dramaturge of Despia. Pretty good. Salamangrate, Master Flare, Hyperion, The Chorus in the Sky, and Primal Dragon. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next up, Ghost of the Past, Second Haunting. What shall we pull? Vision Hero, Poisoner, Poisoner, Ghost Rick Stein, Chaos Grover. That's the one I kept pulling at the YCS, or the people kept pulling when they opened my packs. Four more packs of these random packs. So far, all right. I mean, we've had a couple of decent pulls, but we'll see. We'll see. I think he said there was only like 25 total boxes, so this is like 4% of the, of the boxes ever made, which is pretty interesting. All right, Hio Zanru, one of my favorites. The Insect Soldiers of the Sky. And there's stuff all over this. Enchanted Mermaid. Insector Ladybug. The Arise Bell, the Star Adjuster. Very cool. White Stone of Ancients. I really like this card. This is pretty solid value there. And a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Funny enough, I think this is more than the Blue Eyes, which is funny. But still, a nice pull. We'll take that. White Stone of Ancients is pretty awesome. I like that card. All right, so far, pretty decent value. So, I mean, not bad at all, I would say. I mean, pretty solid overall. I don't know what the max value is going to be. Co-Generator, Protector with Agents and Moon. But I think we are pulling some cards that have some value, at least. Which is good. You like to see that in these repacks. I don't really know, like, what we're chasing for. Like, the chase list was interesting. Neos Kluger, very cool. I think it was, like... I mean, some of them didn't really seem, like, that crazy. Usually with these, I like to see that there's, like, something really awesome in here. Like, I think uh, Sauce had uh, two Blue Eyes Toon Dragon first editions. That was pretty awesome. We got a Paladin. We got the Flint Cragger. Rise of the Mega Monarch, very, very cool. And uh, Agent of Wisdom Mercury. Back to Obelisk. I do like how he has like the, the outline. That's pretty cool. I like the art, little artwork he's got going on there, which is just using like the outline of the guide cards. So far, I've seen, what is it? Obelisk and Wing Dragon Raw. Is there a Slifer? Yeah, there is a Slifer. Okay, there it is. All right, King's Knight. Very nice. Got the Reaper. The uh, Ob Anubaru Mu, Anubamaru, Soul Sleeper, there we go. A BLS and a Cal Super Dragon, cool cards. Sly for the Sky Dragon, there it is, Speak of the Devil. And a Louvre, the Jester of Despia. So we are getting a lot of Ghosts from the Past cards, but we're getting the good ones, which is really nice. Sly for the Sky Dragon, we will take that, very nice. So, so far, pretty decent value cards, I would say. Not bad, we'll take it, we'll take it. All right, Rookie Warrior Lady, we've got the uh, Bluebeard. Ghost Rick Mary, very nice. And once again, shout out to the Twitch channel. We are probably live right now if you're watching this video when it came out. Go check it out. Link in the description. Getting close to about 5,000 followers at the time of recording this. Hopefully, we'll hit it by the time you see this. Sanctuary in the Sky. We got nine pillars of Yang Zing, Fossil Machine. Where are the ghosts? Come on! All right, two more packs of Felix Vortex packs. Let's go. Two packs. We've got the Winged Dragon of Ro Come on. <laughs> Come on. Getting these open is difficult. Okay. Gonna get these out very carefully. Brain control. Pretty decent common right there. All right. Oh, Soggy. Soggy, the Dark Clown. Axe Raider. We got a Grande Motha. Oh, we got another Link. 
Envoy of Chaos, and Boral and Dragon. So we are getting a lot of Dove. Oh, wait, Dark Magician. Getting a lot of Ghosts from the Past cards. Dark Magician, S-Y-E. This is one people always think is super valuable when they find their old collection. They realize it's S-Y-E, and it's not at all. <laughs> but it's still really nostalgic and cool. Comes from the starter deck, Yugi Evolution. It's the super rare. Right behind, what is the... It's a Black Cluster Soldier Ritual is the cover card. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I mean, nostalgic cards for sure, definitely. Next pack, Double Warrior. Geomathmic Final Sigma. DDD Destiny King Zero La Place. And a multiple guy. I'm a little, little multiply guy. I love the multiply guy. He's pretty cool. One more. Let's do a couple more ghosts from the past before we get into the final pack. I'm going to try and get a ghost rare. Fossil Machine. Proxy Horse. Mystical Sand. All right. All right. One final pack. Then we're going to go into the last mystery pack. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. The Asian of Creation Venus. DD Savant. Number 97, very nice, and Plunder Patrol Ship lists with the Kaliuga. On to the final mystery pack, Felix Vortex Packs. Let's do this. Let's see if we can pull something epic. So far, we have pulled pretty okay, like okay cards. We haven't pulled anything that I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, insane. But like only the first pack was like really bad. The first pack was awful. Ever since then, it's been pretty good. Oh, the Larva Moth. Very nice. It's the cousin. Oh, we dinged it. That's the... Okay, another problem with these packs is you can't get them out without these, like, played cards getting dinged. Yurabi. Very nice. Okay. The uh, DIP. Oh! The Wicked Dreadroot. Is it a... Wait. Is it... We got a uh, factory error here? Oh! And the Therion Lily Borea. Secret rare. Why was it turned around? That was kind of weird. Okay. So we have the Secret Rare. Very nice. That's, I think, a pretty big card. So that's a good hit from the newest set. Pot of Duality, aka Pot of Awesome. Pretty nice. You'll love to see it. Overall, a pretty decent mystery product. You'll have to judge for yourself if you do want to spend $25 because that is quite a lot for only seven packs. But it's up to you guys. If you guys are interested in repacks, go check them out on eBay. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy videos like this for more. Shout out to TCG, Trust Cards, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins of Doom, Stanley, Mimic Echo, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Noland, and Anantai Show. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.